Hello, greetings guys and welcome to the breakdown with DJ Odyssey and you know man uh, it's another episode and we have to break down something and today I decided man let's just break down an Afro House Afro Tech song I don't know what to call this but it sounds Afro House it sounds Afro Tech and before wasting time man let me play it for you stop it right there i've already played it for too long already uh the main thing like i just wanted to get to the guitar as well just to let you hear what's what's what also is on the song and then um i was just working on it and while i closed it and opened it and then that guitar the way it sounds at the beginning i don't think it was supposed to sound like that and then i had to open it and then so maybe i was supposed to even tweak it again but anyway doesn't matter i'll put on another type of a guitar on the song and then we'll continue you know anyway you know you know break it down but i'm excited as well 
before I break it down, I'm excited. I have an EP out with Zando. It just came out today. It's called When You're Ready. And one of the songs is called When You're Ready is one. It's the one which I asked you guys to do the remix for. And then I've been getting like emails and emails and emails. And today is also the final day to actually submit your your remixes. And then so, yeah. Uh, I would really love it if you guys can stream it, do whatever you can, download, do what you can, buy. And if you stream it, your know, YouTube and Spotify, even Apple Music, I like my favorite. You guys can go there and then try to watch it then and so that we can all generate something at the end of the day. But anyway, without speaking too much, this is Afro House, Afro Tech. That one is at my piano. I'll talk about it later on. Um, let's talk about what I just did now. And as usual, we're going to break it down. So now, the messed up part about this one is that I used the loop. On, don't worry about the other loops that look like uh, the strings and everything. I have the midis for them. That's where I had to convert them because of my CPU anyway. Because I needed to make sure that you guys hear a nice, almost kind of full production. And then, uh, otherwise... Yeah. Anyway, the drums are the, the first drums are the are loops, and these you find in my sample pack, the Afro House sample pack, the sample pack, Afro House sample pack. Hey man, sorry, Afro House sample pack, um, which is out already. So this is the first drums. So it's like a drum loop that you find in the Afro House sample pack. Let me find my Afro House. Um, these are my drums and Afro House loops, and then you have these drum loops going on. So, this one that I chose is number nine, and it sounds like this. And that's how it sounds, and then if I put it here, it goes. And then I found the shaker from the from the same um, sample pack it's also a loop and then together they sound like this so it's a nice shaker and then um, I'll just start with the what do you call this like with the waves like the audio waves first and then I'll get to the patterns and then the other thing I used is a crash I reversed it and did something like this great so now you want to give uh the song like some kind of a you don't want to take the loop as it is and actually use it as it is you want to add something on top of it um so it's what i used uh i added a snare so we get to the pattern mode now uh let me do this make sure that everything is clear and then i'll get to the pattern for the snare so the snare sounded like this. Even though I used like a, a, a rim shot and a snare and a shaker, but the main idea was to put the snare into the song and then together they sounded something like this. Like this. So now you're giving the song some energy more, you know? The drum loops give you an idea of how Afro House is supposed to be. And then from there, it's up to you to actually give it another thing. So the next pattern. Um, so now, with these ones, I use these these sounds. So I make sure like one goes here, like uh, like uh, the velocities, um, so that they don't become like the same velocity. So this one comes here, so that you can actually hear something like this. So these castanets, nah. <laughs> I always don't know how to pronounce this, but I love these sounds. These castanets, I made them at one three timer. So basically, I came here and used one over three beat, and then, like you can see every beat, it's one over this one two three, two three one two three. So it goes one two three 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 one two three. But the song is it's on a one four time. 
so that's why it's one two three four one two three four so that's how it actually goes but let me show that it comes in like like you have that kind of an offbeat in the song and then so i used both these castanets and then uh pen them a little bit i wanted to the left i wanted to the right not too much though and then the next pattern are my claps which come fairly in the chorus there and then they sound like this excuse me i'm sorry um so the claps they sound like that i use four claps three claps sorry three claps and a shaker right so it's one two three claps and the shaker you know when i use the shaker i just want to have like the 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 higher frequencies into this so that you can actually hear the sound you know and then the next pattern uh is what i call my sound effects we are here right we are here and it sounds like this so it's just the snare I come here, I fed it with some, I don't remember if I used one over three or one over four. Okay, I used two times, so it means it's just one, two. It just hits straight up. So it's fine. It goes like that. And then I just fed it to six and then nothing major to it. And then, then you have these timbrels that did the same thing. But they all go into this channel for sound effects. And then... What I did is add a whole reverb on it, so that uh, you, you can like the reverb adds that effect, that something like that hits and then uh, has a lot of tail on it, you know. And then uh, the timbales, yeah, you know, people sometimes I don't know how to pronounce these things here, but <laughs> that's how it is. Uh, it goes like that. So, the timbrels, that's how they sound, you know. Those are the ones, if if you want to play them a piano and then add them yourself, like, dun, 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 find these sounds, you'll, you'll, you'll create more, more type of loops with that. And then, maybe I should keep on using it so that I can give you more sound packs. <laughs> uh, the next thing, it's uh, the bass step. Uh, this I took from my piano from I'm a piano sample pack but it's also available in my what do we call this in my Afro House sample pack it's just a one shot goes like that it's very dope and I love it for for, for Afro tech so you can also use it for Afro House if you want to or any other sound anyway you know it's up to you how you actually want to manipulate your music you know I don't want to take too much time with you guys, but let's do this. Let me play it for you. As you can see, it's only on C. doesn't do much. And the next pattern, um, it's a bass line, which now it moves. Okay, let me put this back to step so that you can see in, in fourth mode, you know. And then it goes like this. Hey, it might sound amateurish if you listen to it, but once it's in the song, it sounds dope. Depends on how you actually mix the music at the end of the day. Um, this is just the thing that goes with the with the sounds, with the chords of the song, and then it backs it up nicely, and then. Um, like like normally I normally do is put a slide over there, pot uh, mono maximum one, so you can only play one note at a time. So even if it's on mono, it tells you it only can play one note at a time. So if if you made it like that, it means if I do this now, it will go up and down. You understand what I mean? So you can have it's like gliding an eight or eight. So that's how people do the the gliding of the eight or eight. So if you listen to uh, what's that music? Um, drill beats. Uh, right, you don't even need an eight or eight. Sometimes you just need a bass, and then you just need to 
to just do what you can. So it's just up to you, you know. Let's play one more time, Jay. So I'm just saying, even if you're interested in doing eight to eight, sliding eight to eight, this is the method. You just do that. And some people use these two buttons, yeah, the slide and portamento. As you can see, we use the portamento on the other, on the other side. There's a portamento, yeah, and the mono. And then let's get to the next pattern. Uh, this is a string. I love to use the string when I use when I make Afro house. It's uh, it's the Hollywood string, classical from Nexus. I used a lot of Nexus in this, and it sounds like this, straight as well. also on C and the next uh, pattern at uh, it's a guitar but not a guitar as such it's like a plug and let's see let's look at it yes so it's a plug but it's called mute guitar number two in Nexus and then so what I did with this as well one over three one over six so I put it on one over three and then so that it's it becomes out of time and then what I did with this as well is so it sounds like this so it hits at one one two three one two three one two three as well and then what I did uh, I came here um, I dealt with LFO so the LFO is what made this look like this so you can mess with the LFO so it, it deals with your velocities very nicely and then um, you decide how you want it to be so I just want it to sound like this I can also make it look like like that or like that it's up to you so I put it here or I can put it here I can put it right there yeah man it depends on you how you actually put it so i put it here and then you can decide on the range and then you know it's up to you so i did it like something like this and then yeah great and i can just do that and then so that you can have a variety of your velocity sometimes and then the next thing was a pit it's a string, but it only hits like that. And then it's a piece of cartel, like a piece somewhere. So it's kind of a string. It's an orchestral string. Most people use it to create some nice um, cinematic sounds. And then so for me, it sounds like this. It also sounds a little bit cinematical. 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 <laughs> yeah, cine, like cinema, cinematical, something like that. <laughs> and yeah, man, that's how it sounds. So you can hear if you find a timpani. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well as well. So I'll call it a timpani. <laughs> so if you find that and you find it it gives you them nice rolls that timpani and then once you put the timpani on this man you you, you swim and you you feel like you're watching a movie like a uh, lot of the rings you know um movies like that so anyway i got to purity and uh this is a choir sample so it's like um it's a pet and it sounds like this. Uh, as usual with the pad, I like to chop. You know what I mean? Another reason why I chop a lot on on the Fruity Loops parametric EQ is that the, the FL Studio parametric EQ is not as powerful as something like um, Fab Filter EQ. So that's the difference. With with FL Studio parametric, even if I chopped it out like that, like I did a cut off, a serious cut off, 
basically there's still some sounds playing on the other sounds like those highs you didn't really cut them off 100 percent that's why i would cut it off like that but if you're gonna use a uh, something like fair filter is very strong so when you do a real cut off it really cuts off some other sounds which now you will not hear like i'm hearing this like this you can hear there's some highs into it but they're not too powerful that's the main reason i do a serious cut off with parametric eq from fl studio if i was using um what do we call this if i was using fair filter I will probably not use this kind of a cutoff. I will probably be using. Uh, let's see if I can find something which can be as simple. Not this, not that. Maybe something like this. Depending on you. Uh, this will not work for me. I'm looking for something. Okay, I think this is this is it, and then uh, again, this is like this. This is where you just reduce it, and then you just do this. So you just re you're trying to just reduce this part. You're not killing it. So basically you can also do it like that because you just want to cut off some highs but you don't want the highs to be too much over other sounds and be powerful more than because like another thing the ear reacts more to to the highs than the lows so you can have a baseline very low like very high volume but because it's on the other side like you would not hear it as much but the more you keep on putting it into the parametric eq and it comes here it comes there next thing is here you will start hearing it and when it's here you'll hear a lot of it so the reason why i cut off the highs a lot on these instruments because you're somewhere these are not the main instruments you just want to make sure that it's there but it's not there but it's there you know so you do something like this it's still fine and then let's get to another pattern so here i guess it's the cards if i'm using simple tank nine out of ten i'm using the, the cards the uh what do we call this the electric piano so it's a stage ep and it sounds like this so yeah the cards the same one i used in the pad so it sounds like this So yeah, same thing. It comes here, and then there's a there's some chops into it. Not too much though, but I would like to take out the the lows. And that's how it sounds. So the next pattern uh, came into expand, and I was looking for some strings. Like some strings will help you in terms of uh, the chorus part and everything. So this is how we sound. So it still plays the same chords and then nothing changes. And the chord was a bigger legato string, the first strings. I didn't want to do much. So it's the first strings and then it just depends on you on how you manipulate this so we play it without the eq so it has an eq as it so we play without it with the eq as you can hear with the eq the highs are very high and then the more things to start lashing 
if you use it and everything has highs in it and everything will start glitching so i like to cut off the highs and i like to cut off the lows leave a space for the bass and then everything has its own space into the song and then um it really, really helps if you you really deal with the eq like the eq is the most important thing for me i can hear people putting reverbs um you know all these effects but my main effect normally it's an eq make sure everything stays well into the mix you have a better mix you'll have a better master you can have, you can never really have a better master without a good mix so make sure that you're mixing it's on a good it's on point so another thing you guys want to see me mix and everything but everything that i'm showing you is part of mixing for my, my, my for my sake for everything is part of mixing i'll come through and show you how to mix vocals later i'm still thinking about which vocals i'm gonna deal with and everything but yeah man that's how you do and the next pattern it's a real what well, it's a it's a guitar it's an electric guitar and then it sounds like this Okay, here's an interesting fact about the guitar. This is very interesting. Um, listen, guys, uh, I actually did not play this. <laughs> I won't lie to you, I just fixed it up where I can. And then this is how I actually did this. So, every time I feel like, you know what, I need a guitarist for, for my music. And then uh, it gets difficult because I don't really have guitarists close to me. And then but it would be nice to even remove this one and actually find a guitarist. Um, but that's in the future. For now, this is what I did to the song. Um, when you guys hear, you hear there's a vocal of mine. I put the strings here just to make sure that you guys can hear other songs. So what's that? Uh, let me put these cards. Okay, they're not playing. But anyway, let's do it. <laughs> so an interesting fact of this is that i actually sang like that uh trying to come up with the way the guitar is supposed to sound and then on top of everything is that now for two loops fl studio has an ability to actually convert your vocal into midi and then so what i did is come here and then you say uh edit in audio editor right and then let me put it like this and then it opens edison right and after it opens edison i always wanted to talk about this part but i'll do a tutorial on it again but now it's just me showing you how i did this and then after that you come here okay firstly you gotta make sure that um you have selected the what do we call this uh the plugin in which you want your midi to go to and then now that you have your plugin like that and then that's when you can go and right click on top of this and then come to tools and then convert to score and dump to pr raw once you've done that everything comes to this then you would have a what happened to my playlist then you will have this guitar solo and then 
it would have saved you a lot of time to actually find a guitarist and everything and it also gives you you also make sure that you have the type of rhythm that you want for your song and every time next time you got the guitarist they will just come and play towards what you're thinking and then he can actually do more because th these guys are very good you know and then so yeah for me i think that sums up the song and everything that i wanted to show you um if you learned something from this man please subscribe i will really appreciate that uh and the sample pack that i used the drums the the loops everything it's it's available um payhip.com slash odyssey and then if you can't really find the way if you're having problems like maybe card problems credit card whatever um you know uh, i know it's, it's happening to a lot of south africans anyway um you can directly deposit everything to my business account and i'll okay i'll give you the business account maybe I'll, I'll just write it down i'll give you the account number and then the phone number or the email address which you send me proof of payment to and then i'll email you the sample packs uh when you're in south africa the sample pack will be like 50 bucks 50 rents and yeah even the hammer piano sample pack will be like 50 rents and though it's like a, a little bargain for you guys but I mean, what can I do? What can I say, man? If you have any problems, do that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. And yeah, man, this video has taken so long. I wasn't trying to take this long. But anyway, man, thanks for watching. And I'm getting all your messages. I'm loving you guys, too. I know you guys are loving me. And then I just want two people saying, yo, this is work. <laughs> Nobody said this way. You just don't feel something and but i'm really grateful to every one of you bad or good suggestions i'm ready ready ready